I'm Rahul Jalan and I'm with Ajay Vikram Singh, my colleague and my colleague student in NUS. Um, we, are, we, are, we have recently undertaken a machine reasoning module in uh, NUS ISS, which is part of the MTech in Internet Related Systems that we are undertaking. Um, as part of the project, we have developed a car recommender system. A very frequent problem that a Singaporean faces is uh, in the car when he wants to buy a new car. Uh, there is a lot of subjectivity, there is no objective data available, he starts with a certain budget, certain he has features in mind, but then by the time you know he gets a lot of advice from his friends, visits a lot of showrooms, he is totally lost. So he doesn't have a very objective uh, method of zeroing in on a car and even after buying a car he is not sure if he did really made a right choice. So that was the problem we started with and uh, we have used uh, uh, the machine reasoning uh, methodology that we learned in the class. Uh, my, uh, we'll switch to the screen and then we'll show you what the project that we have developed. Our project report. To our project report. And um, the project report, <laughs> which is also part of the GitHub, it essentially goes through all, you know, I mean, all the aspects of how we started in terms of knowledge discovery, acquiring the knowledge looking at structuring the knowledge um, in form of a dependency diagram and modeling and representation. So these are the kind of steps by which you know the, the knowledge which was um, which is um, extremely fuzzy in nature right because everything is um, you know subjective and it's very people dependent so how we kind of started to bring all the information together and uh, how we started to form uh, rules in there right um, so I'll just take you through a little bit more level of details here um, and the first thing which we really started was started to really understand uh, you know what what we also as car buyers at some certain point in time went through uh, we went through our friends families we went through car, leading car portals like sg car mart so we had a very clear idea then you know what the problem is in front of us then subsequently we uh, got in touch with um, a car salesman in Singapore who has got experience in selling new cars um, and more than a decade now he has been doing and we got some very interesting insights. Those insights were able to help us with a reasonable amount of conviction, specific rules that defined our, uh, you know, the, the frame of the decisioning system. Um, uh, you know, we got some very interesting side insights. For example, that you know, uh, you know, uh, old people always want to have down payment, but on the same side, on the other hand, the way uh, the banking system is that you have to take a certain amount of loan to get the incentives, right? Likewise, on the other hand, the the young buyers always look for maximum loan. And what we realize is, is very clear through some of the examples is and the surveys is that was not really the case when we started uh, you know um, interviewing so next stage was really that for us to form a survey to augment the learning that we had through the expert and through our own experiences and do some hypothesis testing and uh, for that we designed a survey and um, uh, we got around 60 odd uh, samples over a period of uh, a seven week, days, yes, um, over a period of a week, seven days, and uh, those details are captured. And then what we really uh, saw was, you know, I mean, is that there were a couple of things which were myths, and there were a couple of thing, couple of uh, reasoning which became uh, really the rules, a very solid rule uh, to define, right? Now, one thing which I um, also talked about was the fuzziness of the logic, and we really used the concept of um, CF. Uh, the certainty factor, the certainty factor to uh, to define the um, you know the, the decisioning process um, net net i mean you know in interest of time i'll just uh, take you uh, through uh, you know how the certainty factors were derived because they are actually uh, an extremely important part of converting the fuzzy logic into a an objective reasoning and uh, these were some of the, the the other things that we did and they convert into this rules engine which uh, which as the user inputs um, um, uh, you know gets defined uh, in terms of various buying factors and um, just to take the last part of the conversation here um, these are the kind of uh, screens uh, that we have in the application so here we ask a minimum set of questions which the user inputs um, 
uh, at this stage of course they are modeled in KIE but the intent is to take them uh, through mobile and I think that is where our, our also dissatisfaction lies with KIE in its inability of being a very passive interface um, uh, for the needs. Um, so we defined all of these inputs here and uh, once the user gives the inputs based on uh, the expert rules, curated expert rules based on um, uh, the survey outcomes. Um, and the data mining therein, we are able to get a reasonably good output today where we can actually narrow down what, what is the precise kind of budget that the uh, that uh, people need to have, what car make, car type and car features. At this stage as we can see, we are not still zero, zeroing down upon the top three cars at any given point in time because of course that depends on the offers, the sales, uh, the price points, COE, so many more factors. So these are kind of some of the roadmap items that we want to uh, to do. Uh, but yeah, we want to really take this application as we go along uh, online and there is a roadmap that we have defined as well covering you know the business aspects, the technical aspects and so on. And uh, we see that you know this application will improve an important financial decision for Singaporeans but at the same time which is very aspirational as well. So. Um, here we are. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.